everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Capricorn, here are your cards for this week, starting the 9th of October. From the Teacup Tarot, the Time to Shine Oracle, the Mini Messages and the Mini Mindfulness deck. So let's get right on and see what the cards have to say. So your overall energy this week is the seven of coins. Now, this card says get busy with the groundwork. So if there's something that you're thinking about starting, hoping to start, start. Get those first seeds planted. Because this card very much represents doing the groundwork and then pausing and resting. No need to worry. Know that the groundwork is done and that the success will come in divine and appropriate timing. So getting busy with those new plans. Your help or your hurdle, the page of coins shows up. Now the pages are messengers. They all have an envelope on the card. The page of coins asks you to do the study, do the research and gather as much information as you can. Very happy to learn and gather information. The page of coins then sometimes needs a little nudge to actually put all that knowledge into action. But there's homework for you to do this week. Information that you need to find out. Your guidance here, the life experience card 16 is about positive changes, making those positive changes. Now on the card, look, the sandcastle that she's made is washing away. However, all the wisdom and knowledge that she has learned by building that castle, she's taking with her all these pearls of wisdom. So this is about you making positive changes and taking with you all the learning experience and wisdom with you. How can we help ourselves? The five of pencils comes in and it's a mindfulness card that says, learn from experience. Now I've literally just said that here. How fantastic. Now, she's also forging ahead with new plans, new ideas and new ways forward. So these two cards together, positive changes, new plans and new ways forward and new ideas coming in for you. Pulling it all together, the Ace of Pencils is about a new start. The Ace is all bringing something new, a new beginning. And the Ace of Pencils brings in clarity and new ideas. And if we look, the first few attempts at the target, she's missed. But now, straight into the bullseye, she's learned how to do it. She's working with what works well. The clarity is there. The new ideas are there. And your final outcome card. Lovely. Four of Wands. This is the card of celebration. This is the card of success. This is the card of you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. Somebody saying thank you. It also reminds you to say thank you and be prepared to receive. It's very easy to always be the giver. And now this card's asking you to receive with grace and gratitude. So just looking at the tarot cards, doing the groundwork, doing your homework and being ready to make those positive changes with new plans and new ideas. The clarity is coming in to help you. And clearly you're going to take that on board because we have a card of celebration here at the end. So let's get a little bit more information 
from the Time to Shine deck. The Six of Wisdom is the lover's card in tarot. And this is about you making choices and decisions carefully with love, doing what feels right for you, looking at all your options. This is where this homework comes in. You need to find out all your information first before making a choice. The eight of emotion is lovely. You're clearly going to do this because this is you moving on, making that positive move forward. We were talking about the positive change here and here you are, well on your way. The four of wisdom says get organized, make your plans, detailed plans. This is you stepping up into this leadership role, getting organized, not just thinking about your plans, actually making them. How can we help ourselves? Oh, this is lovely. The teamwork card, the three of life. This is you working in a team, being a good team member being brilliant at what you do. And when you all work together with your own gifts and talents, that's where you can achieve success. The seven of emotion, again, is the card of choices. We had that here with the lover's card. Here's another little nudge, another little reminder. Do your homework and make your choices with care. Look at all your options. Choose the sunflower, not the cactus. And your final outcome card is lovely. 16 of wisdom, double message. Same card, different deck. So here we are. We've got the angel speaking a little bit louder or an email in capital letters. Making positive life changes. Finding what you're looking for and focusing on what you do well. So it's really a week in a nutshell when we look at the reading. Positive changes, new plans, new ideas, working out what is working. So your mindfulness homework, doing your homework, finding out information, working out what is working for you. And moving forward with that, making new plans, new ideas and new ways forward. And starting it all now, knowing the success will surely follow. Because the positive change is here. The decisions and choices made carefully are here. And then here you are getting organised. And there's your positive move forward to something good. So let's just finish off with a card from the mini messages deck. Progress. Every small step takes you closer to success. We were talking about that here. Doing the groundwork, taking those first steps. And your final card. Oh, it's one of my favourites in this deck. Laughter. The sound of laughter brings a smile to your angels. So take it lightly, find a smile, enjoy a laugh, raise that vibration. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you here again next week. So take care now and I'll see you soon.